Hey everyone, this is Easton here. We're back with AP Human Geography. We're going to get into 3.8, which is the last lesson of Unit 3, and we're going to get into the effects of diffusion. So we're going to continue with diffusion and culture, and then we're going to get into the effects of it. So we know the causes, we know present diffusion, and then we're now going to get into the effects. I've said it so many times now, I don't want to say it anymore. Let's get into this. Effects of diffusion. Uh, diffusion results in changes to the cultural landscape. We know this already. They can make cultures blend, stay distinct, or disappear. Uh, cultures can become extinct uh, or be distinct. So an extinct culture would be uh, we have no people a part of a culture anymore. This doesn't happen that often. Culture uh, population will probably be lowered, but usually it will never go extinct. And then an extinct culture will be able to tell the differences pretty easily between cultures in an area. And then cultures can blend together based off uh, physical features uh, and then human uh, factors like communication with those cultures or how widely known they are. So the four effects of diffusion that we're going to be talking about is acculturation, assimilation, syncretism, and multiculturalism. Let's get into acculturation, which is a culture moving to one area and adapting characteristics of a new culture while keeping traits of their original one. So they are a part of a culture and they're going to some other place with a, a different native culture. While they're at that new place, they keep parts of their old culture. However, they adapt to uh, different standards, beliefs, and traditions of this new culture. An example I have here is a group of Hispanics moving from Mexico to the United States. They learn English and read American literature, I spelled literature wrong, while dressing in Hispanic clothes and frequently eating common Hispanic foods. This is an example of acculturation because they're not fully taking in the American culture and leaving behind their Hispanic culture behind. Uh, acculturation and all the other effects of diffusion can also uh, happen with religion. All right, assimilation. A group of people in a culture fully adapting traits and characteristics of a new culture while losing traits to their original culture. So they are fully becoming a part of this of this culture. This doesn't happen that often than you think it will. Uh, there will be some acute assimilation, uh, but not full all the time. Uh, an example that I tried to I spent a while coming up with was a group of Americans moving to French who learn French, eat French food, adapt to French fasho, fashion. Uh, they no longer speak English, eat American food, or play American sports. This is an example of a form of assimilation. Now, we don't know if this is complete assimilation because we don't have the exact details of this uh, group. But this is an example of assimilation because we see here there's nothing here that is kept from an American culture it's all french culture is which which is where they migrated to the next one is going to be syncretism which is the blending of a culture religion or other thoughts into one group or belief so someone in an area or multiple cultures in an area could blend together because of frequent interactions with each other an example is in New York, New York, and other parts of New England, many groups of people from around the world have adapted to many democrat democratic beliefs. Um, Northeast United States, where New York, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, it's a pretty democratic area, and it is highly diverse. So we're going to have different cultures there. However, if you look at you know the Electoral College for the past elections or other voting um, uh, censuses, censuses oh my gosh uh then you can see that it is primarily democratic and is going to be a mix of those cultures uh, and that's an example of syncretism it doesn't have to be just beliefs it can be traditions uh in louisiana um there's a mix of tr um, cultures there uh you can definitely know that we have french we have uh, of course american uh british bunch of people in louisiana however uh, they all, or not all of them, but a mix of cultures celebrate Mardi Gras, which is a kind of like a celebration. Um, I believe it's like festival or carnival in other parts of, of the world. But that's another example of syncretism. They're all doing this same tradition, this French tradition. However, it's uh, done by a mix of people from different ethnicities, cultures, races, blah, 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 blah. All right, multiculturalism, which is the distinctness of multiple cultures in an area. You can tell them apart. You can say, okay, so the Hispanic culture is doing this, why the uh, this culture is doing that. 
An example would be is in Orlando, Florida, which has many areas of the city that is predominantly Caucasian, African American, and Hispanic. Um, you can drive around Orlando if you like. You will find um, ethnic neighborhoods or primarily Caucasian areas or primarily Hispanic areas. Uh, Hispanic would be uh, around Kissimmee, why Caucasian would probably be around um, Buena Vista, the Disney parks, and then African American probably downtown. Uh, and that's an example of multiculturalism. Multiple choice question practice. The best example of of, simil of an assimilation is what? All right, the correct answer is E, the decrease of native culture due to the increase of a new culture. Uh, these people are taking that new culture and adapting their standards or beliefs to that new culture while removing their native culture uh, for some people, or this native culture is dying because of this new culture. We don't know the specifics. However, uh, a lot of these is acculturation because it's not taking in the full culture. Uh, D, you're not uh, taking in a full culture. You may be modifying beliefs of your culture, so you're staying in your culture. Um, a, you're speaking both German and English, so you're having your own culture, your last culture that you were a part of, and then you're taking uh, standards of the new culture you're a part of. And then you have a family moving to a bigger house down the street, not very specific enough. And then C, officially immigrating from Britain to the United States. Uh, you speak English. They eat a lot of the same foods. It's pretty much kind of just like a transition across other sides of the world with, you know, a few minor changes, uh, making E the best answer. That's a wrap up. Uh, we learned about the effects of diffusion. There's a scale check. It's four questions in the description below. Uh, complete it. It'll help you.